Praise God, praise God, praise God. What's up, guys? Happy Easter week, whenever you're watching this. God is so good. The king is alive. He's on the throne now. Let's redeem say so. Guys, we're in the middle of 40 days of worship, 40 days of four-chord worship. We're going through all 40 songs in my four-chord worship song, volume one. Now it's got 40 songs that all use G, C, E minor, and D. I love this song here from Psalm 107. We'll talk about that scripture in a second. The verses and the chorus. Remember, on all these all these chords, you keep the bottom two locked. So D, then up to E minor, then over to C, then up to G. So verses and chorus. Let me out of the desert. Brought me into the streams, river of living water. Turn my bitter. All my burdens are lifted Take the shackles off my feet Cause there's no sound Loud in the air The captives set free So let the redeemer go Say so Sing of his promises And promote Pour out your thankfulness Let it overflow same chord same order versus the chorus because it allows us to really focus on like i said playing the guitar kind of keep it simple and focus on the message instead of really all the chord changes but again guys i always tell people if you play a standard chord d that way e minor that way c that way g that's fine in, in my book on my song my digital song books if you want to play those chords totally gonna sound great what i teach beginners is when you lock in the two bottom strings of the third fret, it makes the chord changes very easy because you're just using the second, third fret only. You're stabilizing that guitar, making those changes a lot smoother, a lot faster. That's what I, I gotta read Psalm 107. I was just reading about this, studying for this this video. I love the scripture. It says, uh, "Oh, give thanks." This is again, Psalm 107. Oh, give thanks to the Lord for He is good. His steadfast love endures forever. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Whom he has redeemed from trouble, gathered it from the lands, the east, the west, the north, and the south. Some wandered in desert wastes, finding no way to a city to dwell in. They were hungry and thirsty, their soul fainted. Then they cried to the Lord in their trouble, and he delivered them from their distress. He led them by a straight way till they reached a city to dwell in. Let them thank the Lord for his steadfast love, for his wondrous works to the children of man. For he satisfies the longing soul in the hungry soul. He fills with good things. I love that last part. The hungry soul, he fills with good things. Are you hungry for more of Jesus? Are you hungry more of the good things that come from knowing him, from studying his word, from spending time in prayer and worship? We don't remind ourselves enough, at least I don't, of his steadfast love for me, of his love that's just, his mercies of what Bible says are new every single morning. When you really taste the goodness of God, you taste his new mercies that come every morning, then you're singing, let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Like, praise the Lord. He led me out of the desert, brought me into the streams, river of the water, turned my bitter into sweet. All my burdens are lifted, now the shackles are off my feet. There's no sound louder than a captive set free. You know, the Bible says we weren't sick in our trespasses. We weren't doing really bad. We were dead. So it's not like your, your heart's beating slow or you're just weak and hard to walk. You're laying there dead to God. But then God in his love, and his mercy, and his grace stepped down from heaven and gave away for you, for me. It's now access the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. That's through Jesus Christ and the price he paid for us on the cross. We're going to celebrate this week, this Sunday, Easter. Then he died on the cross for us and he was buried for three days in a borrowed tomb. Then he rose again and now seated at the right hand of the Father in heaven. But we can't ever stop telling that story or remind ourselves of that story every single day. It's not just the Easter story. It's the Christian life story every single day. My pastor used to say, um, 
Christ, Christianity, like to give your life to Christ, it's not the diving board into Christianity. It's the pool itself. The gospel is everything. So what Jesus did on the cross, it's not like the, the beginner 101 class. It's everything. And Apostle Paul talks about the deeper, the more you know and dive deeper and deeper and deeper into the gospel. That's how you mature as a believer. We think we're supposed to do all these things and practice all these traits. It tells us to try this and this, this habit, this habit, this fruit of the Spirit. But all that comes from a pure, grounded house that's built on the found, the, the, built on the rock. The, and what is that rock? It's Jesus Christ. It's, it's the price he paid for us on the cross. When you build your foundation on that, when you build on that foundation, I should say, the fruit will naturally come. Just saturate yourself with the goodness of God. And that's what it says in Psalm 7. Remind yourself over and over of his steadfast love, of the price that was paid for you on the cross. And then your life can be changed, and my life can be changed. Thank you guys for stopping by. Like I said, if you don't have the Four Chords songbook yet, go to AcousticSelection.com. Like I said, we're going through all 40 songs. We're getting close to like halfway through. And I've been loving this. I hope you all have too. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll keep videos popping out all week. I love you guys. More importantly, don't forget, God loves you. Let's go.